OnePlus has generated a lot of buzz for itself in the last couple of years and its smartphones have attracted buyers everywhere. While the phones have been interesting, they haven't quite been the flagship killers that they set out to be. The Chinese upstart hopes to change that with its third flagship, the OnePlus 3. Here's our review. This year's iteration of the flagship killer makes some big changes that give the phone a much more premium feel. The biggest of these is a switch to a metal unibody, which adds a whole lot of style and quality to the build. The front of the phone looks interesting as well, with Corning Gorilla Glass 4 that curves off the edges. There's also the home key that doubles up as a fingerprint sensor and two capacitive buttons on either side of it. You can deactivate these and replace them with on-screen buttons if you like. The fingerprint sensor works with just a gentle touch even when the phone is in standby and is quick and accurate. OnePlus claims that the sensor actually learns your habits and gets better over time. The phone has a 5.5-inch Full HD AMOLED screen, which although not as sharp as the Quad HD options on many current flagships, is still really good. Black levels are fantastic, colors are accurate, and you can change the color temperature to what suits you. It's among the best Full HD smartphone screens around and is fairly energy efficient as well. The OnePlus 3 runs on the company's own Oxygen OS 3.1.1, which is based on Android Marshmallow. Think of it as stock Android with a few additions, mainly geared to make the phone a bit more customizable. Marshmallow's efficiency and signature features, including doze mode, revamped app permissions, and now on tap, are all present as well. The OnePlus 3 has a 16 megapixel primary camera and an 8 megapixel secondary camera. You can record up to 4K resolution video as well as 120 FPS slow motion and time lapse clips. There's also optical image stabilization, face detection autofocus, and support for the RAW image format. The camera takes good pictures in well lit outdoor settings and does a decent job indoors as well, producing sharp, bright, and vibrant images. Videos and selfies are decent, while slow motion and time lapse videos produce fun results. However, low light shots aren't quite up to the mark. Where the OnePlus 3 really excels is the performance department, with some of the highest test scores we've seen on an Android smartphone. Everything just works. Games, web pages, and apps load and run smoothly and quickly. This is thanks to the excellent Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 SoC, along with a generous 6 GB of RAM. On the other hand, the 64 GB of internal storage is non-expandable. The phone is a dual SIM device with dual standby mode and both slots supporting 4G connectivity on both PDD Band 40 and FDD Band 3. There's also a 3000 mAh battery, which along with the efficient software and screen will easily power the phone for over a full day of usage. The company has added some key features that were missing from its previous devices, including quick charging through USB Type-C and NFC for easy connectivity. There are also plenty of interesting accessories you can buy for this phone, such as the textured cases, the Loop VR headset, and a dash charger for your car. The company has also finally scrapped its highly criticized invite system, and the phones will now be a lot easier to buy. The OnePlus 3 is a true all-rounder of a device, and one that checks all boxes. It looks great and is built well. It has great software, a decent set of cameras, good battery life, and chart-topping performance, making it one of the best Android devices you can buy today. And all of this is at a price that undercuts a lot of flagship smartphones. That was our review of the OnePlus 3. Hit the thumbs up button below, and you can also subscribe to our channel for more videos. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Gadgets360.